Hello guys, welcome to part 18 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for Nintendo 64, brought to you by Gaming1.com. I decided to get two perfect scores off footage of that Southern Swamp shooting game, and I managed to get a large quiver which holds 40 arrows, get another perfect score, you'll get a heart piece. Closing time! Uh, that means I'm gonna have to go to like the third day now. I mean, I got too many games to play. That doesn't matter. At least I'm guaranteed at least two hard pieces. Probably more if I play my cards right. Time to go to Honey and Darling's place for like the final, their final game. So I don't have to deal with them anymore. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, target shooting. Okay. Okay, don't fall off the platform. There's any for targets. Okay. Yeah, fuck you, bitches. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit harder just to hit them. Considering you're on a moving platform, the targets are moving, and plus those two bitch nuts are in the way. And for some reason, they bleed blue blood. I think they're reptiles or something. What you think? Got it! There, I got a free heart piece. Easy as that. Mm. Well, we have left to save you. Hey, I'll take it. Are you truly happy? You will be once I torch you. Just stay here for the fourth day. Yeah, nothing bad is going to happen. <laughs> Can't believe you, asshole. You closed on me while I was still there. Okay, basically, this is what you had to do in this target practice. I try not to hit the blue ones. The old for only the red ones. I'm just aiming at Octoroks here, nothing more. Pretty simple game. You get the blue ones, all you do is just lose time. You don't lose points. But it'll be a little bit harder to get a good score. Not yet. Getting there. Nope, that's all the right ones on this screen. Okay, so far so good, so good. No! I mean, if I get at least 39 or more, I have a good score there. I mean, that's enough for the largest quiver. I'd get a perfect score in order to get a heart piece. But then I get, of course. Well, 47's a new record. So now I can hold 50 arrows now. This will be our last day in business and shot pretty well. Anyways, I'll be right back once I get a perfect score and get another. After a couple retries, I finally managed to get a perfect score. There, not give me my damn harpies. I earned it. Okay, what else do I need to do now? Well, I guess one thing I can do is probably head over to the milk ranch or something. Oh, well, anyways, you just go down here. It's by the swamp, but it's a little to the west of it. So let's go there. Yeah, it's over this way, straight ahead. Because I could not go there before the third day. There's like a giant rock blocking the way. Unless you got the Goron, like the powder keg, you won't be able to get there before day three. So let's get this out of the way now while we still can. Alright, let's go. 
Milk Road, that's what it's called. Okay, I got it. Might as well activate this. I think this is the fourth one I got activated so far. Surprisingly, well, there's only four I got. Okay, let's test out this new spin attack that I got. Nice, if you do that against those whole bunch of leaves, or those bunch of bushes, you get a red ruby this time. I think, well, where'd you go? Don't go sneaking away from me, asshole. I think I'll buy a map from you this time. I think I'll buy the one from our mining branch. There. There, I might as well show you this little bit of information anyway, now that I can. The more maps you buy in the overworld, I mean, the more map maps you buy, the more the overworld clears up. That way it won't be all clouds. Okay, let's go over here to the ranch. We can't get back Epona, even though it's here. But there is one thing I can do now. But I gotta show you something real quick before we actually go to that place I really need to go. So over here. Just thought I'd show ya. Look! look. Isn't that your horse? Oh, I think it is. I thought we turned it into blue. Well, we can't get her back yet. That will be later in the game. But I want to show you something real quick. Look at this. Look at this. Whatever. I thought that was pretty hilarious. Okay, we gotta go over here to the little chicken coop. Actually, before I do, I better whip this mask out. The Bremen mask, because I'm gonna need that. Remember what that uh, guy was saying about the mask? That the dog was the leader? Anytime someone wore the mask, they was like the leader of an animal troop. And it holds true here, too. Just don the mask and march. First, I gotta find out where the little chicks are. Now, you have to hold the B button to march. And you cannot let go of it once. Not once. Until all these cuckoos have turned to... These little baby chicks have grown up. And here's the problem. Even if nine of the peeps turn into full-blown cuckoos, as soon as you let go of the B button, they suddenly turn into chicks again. Like, that's biology fail right there. Like, I still don't understand that. How all of a sudden, just by following a guy that dances, blowing a flute, they grow up, and as soon as he stops, they turn back to normal. Like, wow. That's video game logic at its finest. Where is the other? Oh, I think I see two more there. Only those are the last ones. Oh, I, I see a third. Come on. Get over here! Please be the last one. Please be the last one. Okay, good. There was ten, I believe. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten! That's all of them. Perfect. Uh, I don't really get it. But just seeing these guys with the crest and all, I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this for me. Oh, I got the bunny hood. Thanks to this, I can actually run faster. Oh my god, this is probably the best mask you can get in the game. Especially if you're just walking around. Let's watch this. Don this thing on. You run much faster. Like, this will save you a lot of time, especially if you're just running around. 
Like, this is probably the best mess we can get. Because you're going to be making a lot of use for this thing. Okay, I think I'm just going to stop the video right here. That doesn't seem like much I can do now. Well, I can probably make my way over to Snowhead, but that's going to be in the next video. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Bye, everyone.